Shalom and good afternoon. This is Jerusalem Jane being out and about with wind in my hair. I want to show you a little bit about where I am. I'm in a playground here in Jerusalem. Beautiful new playground. Normally it's packed with children. You can hear children because there's a school over here. As I walked to this playground, I walked past uh, a kindergarten and there, it's packed with children and they're laughing and they're playing and Israeli flags are blowing in the wind from Independence Day and it's so beautiful. There's a little bit of noise and that's because they're cutting some leaves over here but I think you can hear what I'm saying. This whole area is just gorgeous. It's, uh, I only found this recently because I just moved to this area. So I thought it was fitting to go to a place like this and make this video. Every year, first we have Holocaust Memorial Day, then we have the Memorial Day of the people who died in terror attacks, and then oh, uh, all the people who died in a war for Israel, defending Israel. And then we go into Israel's Independence Day. They're cutting trees, but it's part of life. Look at this, it's so beautiful. As Independence Day is coming to an end, and when you follow me on my social media, you know about this. We had the most brutal, savage terror attack. Two Palestinian Arab terrorists murdered with knives and axes. Three Jewish fathers, 16 children in a minute lost their father. These two Palestinian terrorists had actually been working in Elat in that city. They know the area. Um, one of the victims actually drove them into the city because they were working. Uh, he knew them. He has been driving as um, workers around before. So they, they called him up and they, out of the goodness of his heart, he picked them up not knowing that this was going to be the last dying breath and they killed him with an axe right there in his car they got out of the car and they ran down to a park that was full with people out celebrating independence day and they met jonathan and jonathan was out with his son and they started attacking jonathan with an axe and with a knife and he fought them with his bare hands. And while he did that, other people managed to escape. But his son was there, his six-year-old son, and he's running screaming to a security guard, they murdered my dad, their terrorist. Six years old saw his father being brutally chopped to death by this Palestinian terrorist. They also wounded three or four other people one of them was also in front of his son so this is a this is something that's so unfathomable it just grips you into the heart of your soul that someone can be so evil so they murdered three people and they injured four in a park in a beautiful place where jewish fathers were out celebrating independence day with their children these despicable terrorists managed to escape and a huge manhunt has been on the way ever since for these despicable terrorists and they were caught this morning literally just outside the city hiding in some bushes security forces picked up some suspicious activities late last night and they called in more forces and then Let's walk a little bit to see if I can move away from the noise, but you can still hear him. But look how gorgeous this is. Let me walk over here. So normally this place is packed with children. They were captured this morning, hiding in some bushes. And of course they knew it was just a matter of time before they were caught. 
Why are they doing that? Well, the leader of Hamas was out saying that go murder the Jews. If you don't have a gun, use what you have, a knife and an axe. And they literally lit committed this act less than 48 hours later. On all Palestinian social media, they were glorifying these disgusting terrorists. Um, they were making videos or photos with an axe glorifying that they were killing them with an axe and again candy was handed out in Gaza and in Palestinian cities glorifying celebrating the, the murder of Jews murdered with knife and axes it's so cruel I it's so cruel you can't even fathom it so now they are caught unfortunately they were caught alive this means they're gonna to go to prison, they're gonna have a life sentences, they don't get a death penalty in this country, which they should have had. And now, for the rest of their lives, they are gonna have thousands and thousands of dollars straight into their bank account every month because they murdered Jews. They're gonna be paid by Abu Mazen, and he's getting that money from your governments. Then they're gonna take a degree, a master's degree, whatever degree they're gonna take in jail, they're gonna have three good meals a day, all while 16 children is gonna grow up in Israel without a father. One of the boys is gonna have a bar mitzvah in a month and that's gonna be without his dad. But the good news is that this terrorist was captured today. Captured today and I wanna say thank you to the security forces who ever since this happened has been working day and night to capture these filthy animals who goes out and murder Jewish fathers in front of their boys with knives and axes. It does not get any more savage. It does not get any more evil. So I just wanted to share that with you that as I'm standing here in front of this nice place, you can hear children in the background. There's a school over here. So my deepest, deepest condolences is going out to the victims, these three victims, to their families. May God comfort their soul, may their memory be a blessing. And please pray for all the people who were injured for a speedy and a full recovery. And may God comfort and strengthen everybody who has been involved in this, uh, who has been traumatized. The paramedics, the doctors, the families, the, the witnesses to all of this, the children, the boys who saw their father being chopped to pieces with an axe. I can't even fathom that. So please share this video out, even though I know there's a little bit of noise uh, because you don't hear about this in mainstream media. And if you follow me on Facebook, uh, I am tremendously limited in who sees my video. So I also want to encourage follow my new Telegram channel I'm sharing so many things on Telegram you don't see on Facebook. Jerusalem Jane signing off on this beautiful day here in Israel. The sun is out, the birds are chipping and children are playing. Bye.